final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Cupid Poe, and the uh, topic is the Christian experience and uh, self-esteem. And, of course, Dr. Poe, let's uh, continue our conversation uh, earlier in reference to uh, some of the overt. I think you were mentioned, you mentioned overt uh, self-esteem and et cetera. Uh, right. Let's do that. Well, uh, I think it was at Duke University Medical Center. They did some research a few years ago, and uh, they found out that there was a difference between uh, uh, genuine uh, faith uh, and faith that was uh, external but wasn't really genuine. If a person's faith affects their choices, their decision making, their day to day life, they found that these people had less depression, less chronic physical illnesses, uh, they reported being happier, uh, they, uh, they had higher, they had a healthier self esteem. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, people who attend the church uh, as part of a tradition or just mm -hmm. kind of for, for social reasons, these people didn't have the, the health benefits mm -hmm. that the people whose spirituality was genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a difference between what I say uh, about mm -hmm. my faith in God, okay, uh, and whether or not my faith in God really impacts mm -hmm. the decisions that I make. Mm -hmm. uh, so people need to know that uh, the choices we make in terms of uh, whether those choices are designed to please God, mm -hmm. whether those choices represent our efforts to do unto others mm -hmm. as we would have them do unto us, or whether our choices represent or an expression of our effort to do unto others as God would have us do unto them, okay? Those choices uh, impact how we feel about ourselves mm -hmm. each and every day. As a matter of fact, the best thing that I can do is, is help another person mm -hmm. because that's really what serving God is about. Mm -hmm. Serving God is essentially helping other people, uh, not out of a motive of getting something in return, mm -hmm. okay, but, but helping other people uh, primarily as a way of pleasing God mm -hmm. because God commands us to do so. so. Mm -hmm. And that's what love is about, really. Mm -hmm. Love is really about me helping somebody else mm -hmm. and allowing somebody else to help me. Mm -hmm. And so when we practice doing that from day to day, the Holy Spirit in us blesses us to feel mm -hmm. good about ourselves. And once you feel good about yourself, it's not permanent, mm -hmm. okay? okay? In order to keep that feeling, uh, in order to keep feeling good about yourself, mm -hmm. one has to continue to give oneself to serving God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we're here, really, is to serve God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make a lot of money, nothing wrong with making mm -hmm. a lot of money. We're not here to be famous, nothing wrong with being famous. Mm -hmm. We're not here to drive an expensive car, wear impressive clothes, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. We're not here to acquire a whole lot of formal education, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is to realize what our purpose for being here is. It is mm -hmm. simply to serve God through helping other people. Mm -hmm. It begins at home. Mm -hmm. And that's such a simple message though, uh, Dr. Poe. Uh, it, 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 it seems that it's so easy to say, but it's hard to get across to folks. That, 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 and, and I would imagine that it might be a problem that people don't give it an opportunity. You have to have, to have some kind of something called faith that uh, it will work out for you, you see. And if you don't have that faith, then I guess it would be easy to uh, fall into depressions. But I think as you indicated earlier that it, it's such a uh, a, a general problem in our society today. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, 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 you know, we had a, 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 an interview with uh, uh, some of the members from the uh, Galaxy Drug Prevention Program, mm -hmm. and they were saying the problems that many of the young people had uh, in our society, that they have to deal with, is that uh, they've simply been turned off. Uh, they don't believe in uh, anything, and, and, and that nobody really is out there trying to help them, you know. But I think that they, are, they almost closed this uh, organization down, the Gal Galaxy Drug Prevention Program, they almost closed it down. And so now they contend that uh, the young people who are out there are just uh, aimlessly wandering around, uh, aimlessly uh, committing crime and et cetera, 